What's going on, boys? A little back at the desk for you, face to face this time. Um, I'm not a big fan of uh, having my picture taken or being on film. So this is a little out of my comfort zone. But you guys did it, so. But when you told your story, everybody faced the camera. So that's what I'm doing now. But you all know, I told it before, eight years old. The Frankenstein Aurora had all those monster figures. Uh, I believe the Superman and Batman, Green Hornet, there were a bunch of them back then, back in the day. And then, uh, you know, Boss of Airplanes. Um, in my teens, my senior year in high school, um, I had an operation on my back and I was laid up for the whole summer of 1977. And uh, I get into building vans. I don't know how many vans I built. I must have built a dozen of them at least. You know, and then carpeted the inside because I grew up in the 70s when they had all the old sin bins. If you old you guys remember those. But uh, they used to have the, you know, the big vans all decked out and Christ, they carpeting on the inside and beds and stereos and ah, the good old days. Except for disco, I don't know how that happened. I apologize for that. But uh, yeah, then just, you know, got married, life happened. Uh, sporadically did one or two here and there, and then, uh, you know, got divorced. Married too young, divorced too young. And then I got out of it for a while, you know, work, life. And then I uh, got back into it, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 years ago. Maybe a little longer, 20 years ago maybe, which in the scheme of things, <laughs> it don't seem that long. But I got back into it and uh, as I really enjoy it. Keeps me, keeps me, uh, keeps me sharp, keeps my mind working. Uh, I try to do all kinds of things. I do uh, crosswords, I read a lot, uh, I do bug. Uh, um, I, I like putting puzzles together, uh, anything I can work with my brain and my hands, I, I like, so that's what I try to do, but uh, as far as modeling, uh, I just uh, kind of went back and uh, uh, um, I've been on YouTube now for a year, it's been a year since I, uh, July 13th of 2016, I posted my first uh, video, and uh, what got me to do that be honest, to get on YouTube was uh, watching some of you guys. Um, um, I remember uh, watching uh, Gary Brinker, uh, Frankie Day, um, QDC. Um, I didn't really start watching you guys until you guys started subscribing to me. But I got to tell you, uh, worth a hell of a lot from from some of you guys. Um, you guys are. Uh, uh, I consider every single one of you guys a, uh, a master craftsman at your craft. You all can only get better. Um, but some of you guys are just unbelievable, man. Um, uh, Fred Henry, you know, old Tom. Uh, you know, uh, there's, a, there's a million you know, of you. You know, just some of you guys are just unbelievable builders. You know, I hope I can get my cars to look like those. Uh, I look, hope, you know, I can get them to look halfway like that. But uh, it's a lot of fun, a lot of camaraderie, it's a great community, a lot of good guys. Um, I wish we lived closer together, you know what I mean? But uh, we don't, but uh, I like the live chat. The, uh, the thing that Fred Henry does, I think, is a, is, a, is a real good thing. He puts a lot of time into that, and uh, I, I personally want to thank you, Fred, for doing that. Um, it's good to see what everybody else is doing, you know what I mean? It's good to chat with other guys. Um, but, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a good thing. It, uh, it gives me something to do. I, I had to retire. I didn't have a choice. Um, I was a mechanic welder for a Department of Public Works, which I would show remain nameless. And, uh, I worked in the garage for about 13 years. I worked, I worked for the town for 27 years. And about 13 of it was in the it was in the garages. I did all the welding, 
Uh, we did all our own painting in house. We did everything. Uh, so I mean, I I can work on anything from a weed whacker to a friggin' front end or a back hose, bulldozers, uh, ten wheelers. Um, I'm a heavy equipment mechanic by trade. Went to school for it. Um, but uh, yeah, and uh, the conditions in that garage were just uh, were, were uh, you know nobody should have been allowed to work in there. Uh, so I told myself, I go, you know, if you don't get out of here, you're going you're to end up friggin' dying. And uh, so I went to work for the water department for the next 14 years. Water mains, hydrants, uh, service, you know, water main break service weeks, putting in hydrants, you know, the, all that all that fun stuff in the middle of the winter up to my ass in water when it's, you know, minus, minus 30 degrees. At uh, the coldest I worked, minus 35 degrees, was I worked 18 hours in it. It was so cold, you could work for about 10 minutes, and then you had to get out and, and get in the truck. So we just kept rotating. That's why it took so uh, uh, An eight-hour job took us 18 hours because of the cold. Never worked in anything so cold in, in my life, and I, and I hope I never did it do again. Well, I, I won't now because I'm, I'm out. But... Uh, yeah, so that's that's why I had to find something to do, you know what I mean? And I was already building the models when I was working, but you know, now it's now it's like a full-time gig. Uh, but I, I need to do something because uh, Christ, I'm only fi you know 58. I had to retire. I, I retired five years ago, 2012. I uh, I just couldn't. I was having a tough time. I was con constantly tired. I mean, and, and bone tired all the time. Not like not like I need a nap and I'll be fine. It was just like, you know, I, I worked a, a week and, and never got any sleep. So I went to my doctor and I found out my oxygen levels were friggin'. My, I should have been dead from what the doctor was telling me. They were so low. I, your oxygen's supposed to be around, uh, you know, you're in 98, 99, 100%. I was in 76. So, <laughs> so, I went. I had to go through a bunch of tests, and uh, they found out that my yeah, my lungs are junk. Uh, I got to be on oxygen 24/7. I had to retire. Now I didn't have enough. I didn't have enough uh, years of service and to get a good pension. So I had to apply for disability. And I told my doctor, I go, well, if I got to retire, guy, you need to help me get the disability because I can't. I'm not going to be able to survive on $700 a month. So I, I could I could apply for the disability while I uh, I got my regular pension, but I applied for the disability at the same time, and uh, it took me 13 months to to go through all the rig all the crap. <clears throat> I had to go see three three of their doctors, and two out of the three had to agree that it was my job that caused it. So my doctor was one. I didn't see him, but he was the one that said it was from work. And then uh, when I went to see all three of theirs, and all three of them said it was from work. So I got my disability, but I, I like I said, it was a 13 a 13 month wait of, you know, when, when it got so bad at the end that me and my girlfriend literally thought we were going to be living out in the street. When I finally it finally came through, and I got it. I got it all retro. I got a nice retro check, you know, but I don't think I had it a week when I had it. It was all gone from you know, from paying bills from the previous year. I ran my credit card up, I owed my girlfriend money. So, but, but that's why I'm, you know, that's where I am now, so. Uh, that's my story. But that's why I'm into modeling, and I appreciate you guys letting me into the community, you know? Um, I started out with like six, six subscribers and that was my family and, uh, and now I got 80, 85, 86, something like that. And uh, I have learned an awful lot from every single one of you guys, so. And I like the young guys, man. You guys gotta keep it up. Keep it up. Uh, I'm subscribed to a lot of you younger guys. I like, uh, you guys are, you guys are good already, man. But uh, you can only get better but never think you can never stop learning. You can always learn something. So. But that's my story, guys. I appreciate it. And, uh, let's get, I'm, uh, I'm, hopefully I'll be around for a little while, so. I appreciate it. Peace out, boys.